I'm Ann Stevenson, Extension Educator with the University of Minnesota's Extension Center for Youth Development and co-chair of the Minnesota 4-H Science Team. I'd like to talk to you today about science. Facilitating science literacy is an important goal for Minnesota 4-H. The science process, as well as the information that we gain from studying science, is an essential skill for functioning well in our society. When we talk about 4-H science, we are talking about what is often referred to as STEM, science, technology, engineering, and applied math. So know that when we say 4-H science, we include engineering and technology. In 4-H, we utilize a research-based, experiential, inquiry-based learning process. These videos introduce you to the process of inquiry and offer resources for science learning. Our goal is that you will become more familiar with some of the skills for facilitating inquiry-based learning. Inquiry is about questioning more deeply into something we are curious about. It is driven by one's own questions and curiosities. All 4-H programming is built on a foundation that ensures a quality, positive youth development environment. 4-H defines this environment with four essential elements. These are what youth need to develop and thrive. Several decades of research support these essential elements of belonging, mastery, independence, and generosity. In 4-H science, our strongest focus is on mastery, which is about setting and working toward learning goals. We want to engage youth in exploring science ideas and processes while they learn to think and do like a scientist. To really understand 4-H science, take on the role of the learner. Use your senses, sight, touch, hearing, and smell to observe and explore an object in detail. Let your sense of wonder run free. Gather information. Write down what you observe. Questions will pop up based on what you observe and what you know or think you know. One effective strategy to capture learner curiosity is to use an I wonder board. Designate a large piece of paper or section of a wall as the I wonder space. Encourage learners to write their questions in this space. Using sticky notes allows everyone to voice their wonder and share it on the I Wonder Board. Adults often fear not knowing enough about science to facilitate science learning experiences. But don't worry, a key role you'll play in facilitating science with 4-H is serving as a guide on the side. You are going to be a curious co-learner learning alongside young people. You'll share out loud what you wonder about or what you'd like to know more about as well. Together with youth, you will identify ways to find out about what you want to know. Exploration and discovery are key components of any science activity. As we learn with youth, we are being intentional. We know what we'd like the young people to learn. The curriculum in 4-H is designed with these outcomes in mind. Print materials and online resources support you in implementing the curriculum with supports to guide you. Give youth the opportunity to dig deeply into science experiences, learn what science careers are possible, contribute to their community using science, and develop critical thinking, science process, and communication skills. 4-H has a wide variety of curricula or project learning materials to support learning in science. One exciting partnership is with SciGirls, a project of PBS. The SciGirls curricula has been reviewed by National 4-H and approved as meeting our standards for 4-H curriculum. SciGirls is a great example of a multimedia, research-based, experiential, inquiry-based curriculum that focuses on teaching science. Much of the curricula ties closely to various 4-H projects. Lisa Regala is here to tell us more about it. Thanks, Anne. SciGirls is a national Emmy award-winning program whose goal is to change the way millions of girls ages 8 to 13 think about STEM. 
we have a three-pronged approach. A PBS Kids television series, a web-based safe social networking site for youth, and face-to-face -face professional development with printed science and engineering program materials. SciGirls is premised on having real girls who don't use actors or scripts. We literally cast a different group of girls from around the country in every episode. Each group faces a unique science or engineering challenge. We hook up the girls with a mentor, a scientist or engineer to help guide them through their process and provide a focus on science careers. The girls identify a question, investigate, and use their science abilities to get to a solution. So the focus stays on the science process skills and abilities. It's not about the answer. We want to see kids make mistakes and face unexpected challenges because what you do in these situations is important. It's real science and it's seldom modeled for kids. We also show that science and engineering can be found in unexpected places like making puppets and fashion design. In designing the show, we review the research base on girls learning science. An outcome of this is the SciGirl 7 a distillation of research to seven key components that support and engage girls in learning science and seeking science careers. We'll go through these research findings, including some strategies that will support your implementation of them in youth science programs. A question we often get is, is SciGirls just for girls? And the answer is no. We promote gender equity in science education, and that's good for both boys and girls. The SciGirls activities work for all learners. There's nothing wrong with boys watching girls doing science. So that's a quick overview of SciGirls. Check out our website to watch any of the videos online, to download any of our curriculum and activities, and to facilitate youth setting up their profiles and submitting their science projects.